question one match the following so we have from one to v and we have to match it with a to f so here we have a circle for our reference because all the calculation has to be done on circle so first is less than one fourth of a revolution so here we see it is less than 90 degrees so it is called acute angle more than half a revolution it is more than straight angle and less than three fourth of an angle so it is called reflex angle so we'll match b with b that is reflex angle c part half a revolution it is very simple it is a straight angle so we will connect one to c now d part one fourth of a revolution it is again simple it is a right angle we will connect d with second now e part between one fourth and half of a revolution that is between it falls between straight angle and right angle well it is called obtuse angle that's what you've learned in this exercise it falls somewhere here so it is called obtuse angle so we'll connect e with fourth now we don't have any match for this one complete revolution but we know it from the previous exercises that it is called as two straight angles because if you go from here to here it is one straight angle and back it is another it makes two straight angle to make one complete revolution therefore this was your question number one question two classify each one of the following angles as right straight acute obtuse or reflex so these are the following questions a to f we'll have to see whether which one falls to which so a part acute angle well acute is less than 90 degree or right angle so it is you can see here if you extend it here like this it will make 90 degree in any of the direction so you'll get acute angle so this was your a part now b part obtuse angle falls between straight angle and right angle so this would be a straight angle this is your right angle in fact we can construct it in this question itself so this is your straight angle that is 180 degrees and this is your 90 degrees or right angle so it falls in between it therefore it is obtuse angle here it is very simple this is straight line and it is vertical over it although we don't represent it in this manner the right angle is represented by making a square so this is your right representation for c part D is reflex. Reflex is more than your straight angle. If you construct a straight angle here, so we can construct this ray. These are two rays. And if we construct a straight angle in this direction, like this, so this is your straight angle, but this angle is more than this. So it is a reflex angle. Therefore, D is reflex. Now E part, this is very simple. It is on straight line. Therefore, it is a straight angle or 180 degrees also. Now here, it is again similar as the A part. It is less than 90 degree or right angle. You will study about degrees in the subsequent chapters. Therefore, this is your 90 degree and it is lying between. Similarly here, this is your 90 degree and it is less than 90 degree. Therefore, it is both the angles in F are acute angles. So this is how you do your question number second.